Hey everyone, Cesare here with some more Final Fantasy XI stuff. So as you can see, we are currently here in uh, the Metalworks in Sid's laboratory or workshop. There he is over there. I am on Miro right now. I'm currently a Dark Knight, and we're going to be getting the uh, Dark Knight AF weapon done. I think it's the first one. I think this quest is called Dark Legacy. You're a Dark Knight, I see. I have a favor to ask that may be of some interest to you. The Galka methods of dark steer working are recently being looked on in a different light. This coupled with the recent rise in adventures bringing in dark steel or has resulted in an increase in the production of dark steel goods. This is why I need an old book called Dark Steel Formula. I heard that it was once kept here in the metalworks, but I have no knowledge of its present location. They say that in olden days, all Dark Knight equipment was forged from Dark Steel. I would be willing to repay you handsomely if you could retrieve that book for me. Alright. So. I need to find someone named Mighty Fist. Alright. And they're probably down here, I would imagine. Let's open our map. Let's go down to G9. To, to the Dark Steel Forge, I think. It may actually be up here. Hang on. That's the Craftsman area. I think it's down below. We're gonna check. I haven't spent too much time in the Metalworks, to be honest. Ah, Dark Steel Forge is what we're looking for. We gotta talk to Mighty Fist over here. That's a good name. Better than Scared Ant. What? You say Rybot is searching for the book Dark Steel Formula? I see he's finally come to his senses. I've been trying to get him to ask Chief Sid to put more money into the Dark Steel program. Well, knowing Rybot, he probably had to think and rethink it, but he still hadn't made it, hasn't made up his mind. Hopefully, seeing Dark Steel Formula will help to push him in the right direction. The problem is, the Dark Steel formula was donated to a library somewhere before I was appointed to this position. And on top of that, there's no record of the donation anywhere. I guess I can't complain. This was back in the day when Mithril was the material of choice, Sermet was getting all the funding, and Dark Steel, well, Dark Steel was about as popular as its rusty buckets. And worth about the same, too. I'll write a letter to the library holding the document. You'll need to take this letter and show it to the proprietor of the library. Okay. So now we gotta go down to Winder's Waters and visit the, uh, Opistory. If you've been following my playthrough, uh, we actually just started there, uh, the Winder's Quest lines. Uh, by the time this video loads up, we'll probably be well past that, though. Maybe. We'll see. I think it's in Winder's Waters. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, that's close. one to it. Perfect. Let us go there. Okay, let's go talk to Kokel Monkel. He's in the Epistory. Uh, I'm gonna guess this door here. I have no idea which door he's in. I never know which door to go in on these things. Oh, there he is. Okay, good. Good guess this time. Since it's the dual name, you know it's a male. What? No! You're from Bastark, are we? Yes. How may I help you? No! Assist! Yes. Assist. Really? No. You say you're looking for Dark Steel Formula? Yes. Yes! I remember that one. I do. It turned up the last time, or was it the first? No, the last time I cleared out the book, old book vault. The text was filled with lots of important looking blacksmithing techniques. One look and I knew this book didn't belong here in Windows. I mean, not here in this library, I mean. So I decided to take it to Bastok and see if I could find shed any light on the mystery surrounding the text. And that's when I was attacked by a band of rogues. Yagato rogues, they were. 
If we ever want to see it again, we'll have to travel to Gideas and get it back from that thief. Vahuja the Erudite ourselves. Well, I don't exactly mean ourselves. You're the adventurer, aren't you? Yes? Alright. So I spoke to him. One might say we now have to go to... Gideas. From that quest line. Quest X. From that quest text. Sorry, I had to turn away and cough. Alright. So, I believe we gotta go down to... Is it Cerebrita that's under? Gideas, yes. So, you could go the long way through Western Cerebrita and get there. Or the short way, it doesn't really matter. I kinda know where I'm going. Ish. Okay, so I think this leads into... Yeah, we don't want to go there. Alright, so I'm not very uh, highly... I, I, I want to say trained, I guess, is the best word. I don't have much skill in using a scythe on this character yet. I kind of just equipped it because it looks cool. That person's name is I Love Women. Well, hello I Love Women. I hope you had fun. Which way do I want to go? I'm already heading in this direction, I guess. So we'll go this way. Doesn't really matter that much, because I'm going to have to go up and around anyway. One thing I don't like about this map is all the... Uh, <laughs> all the cliffs that you got to traverse, and... You got to drop down, actually, to get to some of the areas. Yeah, you got to drop down to get to one of the upper areas. I'll be showing you that here in a bit. We gotta go up this way. Yeah, okay, I think I'm in the right area. Yep, okay, I just gotta go around this thing, which I think is not the correct way to get around it, maybe? No, it's not. Alright. The good thing is, I'm like level 60, so the stuff here shouldn't be that bad for me to beat. I might summon, uh, I'm gonna summon my trust to fight the thing I'm gonna have to fight, the rogues, the rogue Yagados, but that's more just to make it, make it die quickly. First and foremost, so we're going to go down to the second map, and we're going to talk to somebody that's more optional dialogue than anything. But it kind of adds uh, some flavor to the quest story that we got going here. Assuming I'm on the right map, that is. Let's see. Nope, so let's see me in this map. So now that I've turned a corner, it should have me listed. Okay, so I gotta go up to... Yeah, okay, I see where I gotta go. Nothing here should aggro me, as far as I know. This isn't Castle Ostrosia, where there's stuff that aggroes level 99. Gideas is a fairly low level zone. Yagado Piper. I usually see a uh, Yagado um, notorious monster hanging up, uh, hanging around in these halls somewhere up here. Usually, yeah, there he is, right there. Hey, Mon. Sweet Onichi. He's a ninja. Unfortunately, I'm missing him because his shadows are uh, absorbing my damage. Which is always, always nice. See, there goes the third one. So apparently he had three shadows on him. Yeah, one hit took off 77% or 67% of his health. Sorry, I can't math. And he dropped an Asper knife. That's good. 
Ah, oh, crap. I don't care about Dalmo meat. I always get more Dalmo meat. Perfect. Uh, is this where I want to be? Oh, leave me up. Maybe keeper of treasure chamber. Who? Maybe differing from brethren and not liking to fight. Smooth can handle business here. Should leave now. Ah, there he is. You watch me sing. Who's you the erudite? Funny Smoothkin you are. <laughs> what say you? It takes one to know one. The one you are seeking, strange he is. Hates the Yagato Cherry. Just the smell is ruffling his feathers. The Yagato Cherry? Me, I am more than happy to be the taking. Alright, so I got two Yagato Cherries here. You get these through, um... Uh, I'll explain in a moment, actually. Ah! The Yagato Cherry? My favorite it be! For Smoothskin, you are pretty smart. Ah, ah, ah! For you, I am telling. Rahuja the Arida is reading book in whole far south. But the way he is, by sneaking or creeping, you not get close to him, I know. Okay. Good to know. So, that's just kind of like an idea of where he is if you needed to find him. Uh, and a hint as to what he wants. And that's a Yagato Cherry. That's why I got two. So to get the Yagato Cherry, there's three ways to get it. You can buy it from the auction house. Well, actually, four ways. You can buy it from the auction house. You can get it through gardening. Um, is that too far? No, okay. You can get it from logging in the Buberinamu Peninsula, or you can buy it from three NPCs. One NPC for each nation, and they only sell it if your nation owns or uh, has control of the Kolshushu region. I, uh, unfortunately, had to go logging for them because... Nobody on the show right now owns the Kosushi region, and it's all basement, and there's none on the Oxus. None at all. But it didn't take too long, actually. It was only around 40 minutes. I was just watching an episode of uh, uh, American Horror Story, I think. That said, Silly's not here for this, uh, because he's going to be recording his own. Uh, and I'm doing this after hours. I got nothing else to do at the moment. So I thought, why not just try and get my uh, artifact stuff done? So, for the first set here, we're going to be doing uh, the artifact weapon, as we've already started. And this one, I believe, is a scythe. It's only level 43. I doubt it's better than my current scythe. I'm actually currently using the one you get through sparks, which is a bone scythe. I mean, it might be better for the simple fact that it gives me bonuses to strength and such, so... I don't know. Anyway, I mentioned before that we're going to have to fall down. Well, there's the fall down. And you fall down... ...to climb up. Because now we're climbing out of the cave... that big area where I had to go around that weird ramp thing it should be visible once we get out of this cave here we go yeah see just down there there's that weird ramp thing just across from us there uh, this we're now up above. We can't get up here unless you fall down that hole first. All right, so we gotta go down to H14, I believe, is the location, which is that big area at the very bottom of the map. I don't know if you guys recall or if you watched, but uh, during I think it was either the Shantoto Ascension or the Mugo Kupo d'Etat, where we had to uh, go harvest things in Gideus and oh my god that quest was annoying I hated it so much
But here we go, we're past the wasps, the Yagato Pipers. I really wished they had a made that song that uh, you always hear the Pipers playing uh, reappear in FF14. That would have been so nice. But alas, it's not meant to be. And this one's not, it's not too uh, bad to get down there, actually. It's just a straight run for the most part. And then through this part here. Another little cu cutaway in the set mountains path uh, leading to the big area. Okay, so now that we're in here, we are going to look for a question mark. I'm not seeing one. That's because we're in I-12. And I-13. That's because we're not actually in the area we need to go to yet. We're going to get to H-14. I even said that earlier. What the hell am I thinking? There we go. Okay. I'm targeting it. Ah, I see. They did say he was in a hole at the very low end of the map. Oh, hang on. Before we trade anything to that, we're gonna go and I'll summon some trusts. Why not? We probably don't need them at all, but it's fun to have them. They're going to be doing maintenance soon, so I have to finish this up. Uh, okay, this it's not near enough that I'm going to have to log out soon. I want to summon Choo Choo. Tenzin. Kupepi. Iroha 2 and. There, random guests. Shatoto 2. Alright. So let's trade our Gagato Cherry to this. I think that's what I did. And there's Vahuja, the Erudite. Instantly starts casting water too. Man, the delay on this is really high. And then I miss. That's what happens when I only have 50 points in it. He's actually doing a decent chunk of damage to me. I guess it's good that I did actually end up summoning something. Ah, uh, my trusts. Would have been a bit embarrassing if I actually died. Alright, so now I gotta examine it again. And I got Dark Steel Formula, look at that. Alright. Off we go. I think that's all I gotta do. Yeah, I just gotta return to the Metalworks. But you can have a little more. Uh, Optional tech is text if you go to uh, Kokol Monkle again. Which I guess we'll do. As you can see, I'm saved in Winders. This is because this is our home nation for the storyline now. Having just finished off uh, Bastok's past for Wings of the Goddess. I like how it shows you it's dead briefly before it actually loads you in fully. K-E-L-P-E-L. 
So yeah, Lollapalooza have interesting name conventions. Uh, whereas, if they have the dual name, they're males. If they have the single name, they're females. That's the naming convention we seem to have figured out. Well, I'm happy to see that we were successful in retrieving Darksteel formula. Yes, very happy. Oh yes, and when you take it back to Vasto, could you ask them if there are any other books they can donate? If they don't have any, a generous donation of Gil would work just fine as well. Indeed. So that is entirely optional. You don't have to go do that. Okay, so now we're gonna go to Bastok, Metalworks, and I'm gonna go to Home Point 2. Okay, and we gotta go over here. Look at the helmet there, you can barely stand up. Okay. Excellent, you've retrieved our copy of Dark Steel Formula. Quickly, take it to Rybot. Again, optional, you don't have to talk to that guy. That didn't add much to the story, just him congratulating us on being able to pick up a book. Might not get to this elevator, nope. All right, well. This one's coming down. Oh crap, they are starting maintenance in. I got five minutes. As long as it doesn't roll me back and take away my Yagato, sh Yagato cherries, I'll be happy. Anyway, we just gotta talk to this guy and then we're done. Yes, this is the book I was in search of. Please accept this for your troubles. It is a sample product forged by our headsmith, and I assure you it is of the highest quality. Now I can continue my research on the forging of dark steel and make a decision on whether or not to ask Chief Sid for more funding. You were gonna ask me what now? I am just working on a personal project. Every time you say that, it means you're up to something. What's this? Aha! Uh -huh, dark steel formula! Allow me to carry out this research, Chief said. I am sure you are busy with your numerous projects. Now, now, don't you worry about that. I'm not... S it's not that's what's in the book that interests me. It's the name of the person who wrote it. Gerwitz. I'm positive I've heard that name somewhere before. I will investigate the author for you as well. If you spend too much time poking around, Chief, people will get the wrong idea. Alright, so we got a raven scythe. I'll show you what it looks like before I end the video here. See, not that cool looking. Surprisingly, they had a chance to make some really cool looking weapons, but they never went, went through with it. Anyway, everyone, thanks for viewing. That was our first artifact weapon quest. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next video for more Dark Knight artifact gear. Bye bye.